Good morning everyone, welcome to morning prayer this morning from the parishes of St Anne's Worksop and St Mary's North St Cookney. Let's begin our day by bringing ourselves before God this morning in the words from Church of England's daily prayer and for Advent. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Continuing reading today from the book of Acts, this time chapter 7 and beginning at verse 51. Saint Stephen is speaking to the high priest's council who have arrested him. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers, murderers. You are the ones that receive the law as ordained by angels and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, Stephen gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears, and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died, and Saul approved of their killing him. Amen. God's word to us today from the book of Acts. As you know, we've been doing the Bible course with our home groups, learning the big picture of the whole Bible story. Well, a great way to recap the whole Bible story is to read Acts chapter 7, the end of which we read today, because St. Stephen, when he was arrested by the high priest council in Jerusalem for blasphemy, for teaching about Jesus, he told them the story of the whole Old Testament, he preceded it for them, through Abraham, Joseph, Moses, David, and Solomon. But then in our passage, he turns on the priests and accuses them of opposing God's 
Holy Spirit by persecuting him and others who bore the message concerning Jesus. He says they are just like the way that Israel had opposed God's prophets who had foretold the coming of Jesus. Perhaps unsurprisingly, given his boldness in speaking against the Jewish leaders, Stephen was unsurprisingly, as we heard, killed for his faith in Jesus, the first Christian martyr recorded in the Bible. And St. Stephen's Day is the 26th of December, Boxing Day. That's why it's called the Feast of Stephen, on the day that Good King Wenceslas famously went out. And of course we get the interesting details in this passage that Saul approved of the killing. Saul who would become Saint Paul, the great New Testament evangelist. So as we turn to prayer this morning, let's pray that our ears would always be open to receive God's word in our own day, even if it's outside our comfort zone, even if it's not what we're expecting, even if it's outside our frame of reference. Let's not become so stuck in what we believe to be the case that we don't allow God to change our minds when necessary, when we've got it wrong. Let's pray that we'll always be open to receiving God's word to us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you sent the Holy Spirit to enable Stephen to speak your words before the council. Lord God, thank you for the strength that you gave him, even though it would mean death to him. Lord God, in our lives, help us not to be um, like the Jewish leaders in this story. Help us to be open to what you're doing among us, even if you're calling us to do new things. Lord God, help us not to become um, stuck in unhelpful traditions but help us always to seek your will in how we move forwards. Lord God, help us to see the words of prophets among us. Help us to weigh those who speak on your behalf. And we pray, Lord, that you would speak to us also. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us all this morning. God bless you today. Please do join us if you're able for our quiz tonight beginning at 7.30. Email Rev Dave if you'd like the Zoom information for that.
If you're able, we're doing a collection of non-perishable food and toiletries for the work of hope in Workshop this Christmas. And we're asking people to drop those in church on Friday morning. We'll be there between 9 and 10 for our open church time. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.